I'm Dr. Mark King with the Beacon Center for Infectious Disease. We're specialists in treating and diagnosing infections. Your doctor has determined that you have a significant infection. IV antibiotics are a powerful tool for treating such infections. Years ago, people who were getting IV antibiotics had to stay in the hospital for weeks or months to receive their treatment. Now it can be done in your home. Home health nurses will assist with your antibiotic treatment and you will have regular follow-up visits in our office. I have to admit I was nervous about doing IV antibiotics at home. It was something that I had never done before and being an architect and not a doctor, I thought it would be a lot more complicated. The home health care nurse instructed me beautifully on how to do it and it's been pretty simple ever since. Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Turner. For outpatient therapy, antibiotics are delivered through a device called a peripherally inserted central catheter. This is abbreviated PIC line. These flexible catheters are inserted in the imaging department at Boulder Community Hospital and can remain in place for several months. A PIC line is typically inserted in a large vein in the upper arm. It is then advanced to a larger vein in the chest, just above the heart. This allows for less irritation in the delivery of IV antibiotics. It also allows us to achieve blood levels of antibiotics that are superior to the oral forms. I had never actually been in a hospital before in my life. I had been pretty much healthy, and the actual process of putting the PIC line in was painless and very quick and professional. Any antibiotic has risks. Your doctor will discuss the specific risks for the antibiotics chosen for your condition. We will be drawing blood through the PIC line once weekly to monitor for your progress and also look for signs of side effects. I'm Dr. Amy Meditz. Although home IV antibiotic therapy is a well-established treatment, there are some risks, which include infection and blood clot. You're welcome to call our office at any time for concerns regarding symptoms that you develop. Specific signs to watch out for are redness, pain, or swelling in the PIC line arm, or difficulty flushing your PIC line. In addition, you should call our office if you develop fever, chills, three or more bowel movements a day, or rash. Well, as you can see, for most of the day, when we're not doing the intravenous injection, there's a sock that protects it quite well and makes it relatively easy to live with. Uh, during the time you're actually doing the injection, we have this 12-inch extension on here, which makes it incredibly handy if you have to do it by yourself. And then this bandage is changed once a week by the home health care nurse. I'm Alicia Maltzman, a nurse practitioner. We hope you found this video helpful. We're available to answer your questions about IV antibiotic therapy. The nurses at the hospital or the home health agency will answer questions about caring for the PIC line. Our office is open Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. We're also available 24-7 through our answering service. Please call us if you need us. My experience with the Beacon Center was, was great. Uh, the, everybody was always prompt, uh, professional. If I had a 2.30 appointment, I was in the, on the, in the room at 2.30, and a lot of times you end up having to wait. I, I did not have that experience, and the treatment was, was top-notch. Felt like the doctor honestly cared and had a great bedside manner.